Yo, it seems like there isn't a lot of stuff dropping this week, but that's actually not true at all. From the premium Jordans to new versions of the racers, and even Puma is getting in it this week. Let's, you know, let's just start the show. <laughs> Welcome to the Heat Check, I am your host Jacques Slade and this week is going to kick off with some shoes for those that like to, well, run. I've actually been training for a marathon so these are right up my alley. Uh, first up is a shoe that most of you have probably never heard of, the Nike Dual Racer. These are actually dropping in three different colorways and they're inspired by another Nike shoe called the Nike Racer Duelist. Um, this is kind of like a takedown version of that shoe. There, There's no zoom, there's no air, but they do have dual density foam and they're only 120 bucks so you really can't beat that. Nike is also dropping a shoe called the Dual Toe. Racer. Now this shoe looks a lot like the traditional fly knit racer that's been out for the last couple of years, uh, but it doesn't use fly knit on this version. It uses what Nike calls a textile. There is a special edition and a regular edition of this shoe. The special edition is going to cost you $95, while the regular version of the shoe is going to cost you $90. Finally, the shoe that inspired the first shoe that I talked about, the Nike Duelist Racer, is going to be releasing in two colorways as well this weekend. Those are going to cost you $120, and those will be available at finish line along with everything else. All right, jumping over to Puma, they actually have a few releases for women this weekend with the Puma Basket Heart. These are dropping in the black and then there's also a blue version of the shoe dropping. These have those big giant fat laces almost and they actually look pretty cool in that blue. I like that blue. Uh, you can grab a pair of those. They're actually available right now and those will cost you $85. All right, jumping back on the runner train, one of my favorite new runners that's out right now is the Nike Zoom Mariah Flyknit Racer. These are going to be dropping in quite a few colorways, and there's a multicolor one, there's a pure platinum one, there's a white with black, and then there's also a black with white. These are just really clean in my eyes. These drop for both men and women over at Finish Line, and they're going to cost you $150 starting today. Another hot runner from the Nike crew is the Vapor Max Flyknit. Now, these are dropping in a women's version and a men's version this week. Uh, the men's is in cargo khaki, and that one actually looks pretty cool. Those are going to cost you $100. And $90. All right, getting back on the Puma train, they have a shoe that I don't know how to pronounce. It's the Tusigi, I'm guessing, or maybe Sugi Netfit. Uh, these are dropping in three different colorways, and they're actually a pretty cool looking sneaker, and they're really inexpensive at well. They're only $95. You can do some cool stuff with the laces. Look for those to drop starting tomorrow over at Finish Line. Switching over to the basketball world, Nike Basketball has the LeBron 14 low dropping in a few colorways. These colorways almost look like they were made for Easter, but it's obviously summer already. These will drop in what other, uh, Nike is calling prism pink and mint foam which aren't the worst names i've ever heard of uh those are dropped tomorrow for 150 dollars Jumping into Saturday, it looks like Jordan Brand is going to be the master of the weekend with three different releases that you should probably check out. First up is a grade school version of the Air Jordan 6 Low. This one is going to cost you $120, and the colorway for that one is, is called Mint Foam, which is very nice. Uh, next up, we have the Air Jordan 31 Low. The 31 Low is a really solid looking sneaker. I haven't had a chance to actually play in a pair yet, but if they're anything like the high, these are going to be good in my book. This is the Quad 54 colorway, and those will cost you $160. Finally, we have the Air Jordan 5 Premium in black. As the name states, this is a premium release from Jordan brand, and the upper is leather, which looks very, very nice. Those are going to cost you $400 when they arrive on Saturday. All right, as with every week, there may be a few things that I missed here and there. If I missed something that you wanted to talk about, let other people know right down in the comments below. Uh, I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.